Hey there, I want to talk today about why Bill Cosby walked and more importantly, why it feels like narcissists always get away with their lies and what we can do about it. Hi, I'm Rebecca Zung and I'm a lawyer. I'm a narcissist negotiation expert and on this channel and in these videos, I talk about how to get the upper edge, how to create strategy, how to create tactics so that you can actually negotiate powerfully with narcissists. And if that is something that you are interested in doing, feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that uh, you will get notified when I upload new videos. So let's talk about uh, Bill Cosby because a lot of people were outraged. Um, not only did he um, actually get prosecuted and convicted for his acts of sexual assault against women, he had actually admitted to doing um, these acts and he was in prison and a lot of people thought, okay, this is what was supposed to happen. And he's sitting in prison and weirdly and oddly and shockingly to a lot of people, all of a sudden his cell doors are unlocked and there he is walking away a free man. And here he is smiling and saying hello to the crowds as he walks free and for a lot of people, I'm sure, um, especially to people who were victims of sexual assault, uh, it was probably a very dark day and very sad. A lot of people are probably wondering what happened. And for those of you who are dealing with narcissists uh, in court uh, or in negotiation cases, you're thinking, there they go again, getting away with stuff and what happened there. This is a perfect opportunity for me to highlight that there is a difference sometimes in court between law and what people perceive to be justice. And I do have an, a whole video on this uh, called This is True Justice. And um, I recommend that you check that out as well. So apparently what happened in his particular case, I'm going to talk about Bill Cosby case and why he actually walked. And then I want to talk about why it does seem like sometimes these people do get away with things and what actually happens in these cases sometimes and how you can prevent this, by the way. Uh, in your particular case. And this is what I do teach you in the slave program so that you could prevent something like this from happening. So apparently what happened in his particular case, I guess, not knowing the exact uh, ins and outs, obviously, is that I guess he was in the case. He was um, not talking. There are conflicting reports that in order to get him to say things, to talk, that he was promised a certain amount of immunity if he did talk, if he did say things. Uh, so during some depositions, he said some things that were pretty incriminating. So then whoever he made this deal with, whatever prosecutor, that particular prosecutor was no longer involved with the case. I don't know if he left the office or whatever, but then there was a new prosecutor, a successor prosecutor that became involved with the case. That particular prosecutor did not honor that agreement comes along, uses those statements against him. Those statements are now used in court. They're used to convict him. He gets convicted. He goes and gets put in prison. And so as part of his appeal, the appellate attorneys say, hey, these statements were used as part of how he was convicted. These statements should not have been used to convict him. 
uh, because they were made uh, as part of this promise at, for immunity. So therefore they need to be taken out of this case. And without those statements, he would not have been convicted. So therefore the, the conviction should be overturned. And so that's my understanding of how he was able to walk away. So, you know, on appeal, for those of you who don't understand what happens on appeal is on appeal, you can look at like errors as a matter of law, you know, things like that. You cannot um, add facts or anything like that. It's not like a whole new trial. You can just look at where there are mistakes that were made at trial. And so that's why appeals don't generally really work that often because most of the time, you know, the appellate attorneys don't really want to disturb what happened at trial. They'll, they, they don't want to substitute their eyes and ears for whatever the trial judge saw as far as facts and evidence and things like that. that whatever facts and evidence were um, presented at trial, that's pretty, pretty much that that universe is closed at that point. It's just where, where there are errors made at the time by that judge. So anyway, that's how he was able to walk. It was, as they say, a technicality. So yeah, sometimes it does seem like uh, they get away with things when they shouldn't get away with things. And that's why there is a difference between law and justice sometimes. And it doesn't seem fair. Um, and sometimes, you know, I've heard the expression fair is for the Ferris wheel because, you know, fair is, is very subjective. I mean, it, it's different for everybody. Everybody has a different opinion of what is fair. If we didn't, then, you know, we wouldn't be fighting over things, right? Anyway, how can you make sure that you don't have this issue? Make sure that you present your facts make sure you present them under the law, make sure you present them using the elements under the law. And this is what I teach you how to do in my SLAY program, by the way, using SLAY stands for strategy, leverage, anticipating, and focus on you. By doing that, you create such a strong position that the other person will want to resolve the case with you so that you don't necessarily have to end up in court. Uh, but if you do end up in court, hopefully you have a strong enough case together so that if you do end up on appeal, you have presented all of the things that you need to so that your case holds up on appeal. So anyway, that's what the story is with Mr. Cosby. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, give it a share, drop me a comment. Would love to know what your thoughts are. By the way, drop me a comment below. And um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, feel free to do that now. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you want to grab my free crush, my negotiation prep worksheet, you are welcome to do that at winmynegotiation.com. You are also welcome to join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung. I uh, would love to have you in there as well. And thanks so much for joining me. Remember, today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Thanks so much.